What happens when a robot moves too much like a human? China's Unitree R1 just launched, and the internet is losing it. It runs, flips, punches, and even walks on its hands. But it's not just the athleticism. It's the eerily fluid motion that's leaving viewers stunned and a little unsettled. Built for sport, priced for consumers. This humanoid isn't science fiction. It's shipping soon. It started like any other test, a humanoid robot named d -Rec, hanging calmly in a San Francisco lab. But within seconds, it turned into something straight out of a sci-fi horror flick. The robot began flailing violently, suspended midair, shaking so hard it caused the entire crane to collapse. Nearby, one engineer froze, hands on his head, like he just realized he's in the prologue of Terminator. Off camera, a panicked voice yells, what the F did you guys run? Turns out, it wasn't rogue AI. It was human error. A full body movement policy was activated while D-Rex's feet weren't touching the ground, triggering chaos. The emergency stop? Takes five seconds. The robot didn't stop until engineers physically yanked the ethernet cable. Was it a glitch or brilliant marketing? Either way, it's a terrifying, and viral taste of what REK Robotics is building. Unitry R1, a full-size humanoid robot for just $5,900? Sounds unreal, but China's Unitry Robotics just dropped the R1, and it's turning heads. Marketed as born for sport, the R1 pulls off cartwheels, handstands, punches, and sprints, all caught in a viral demo video that feels more Olympic than robotic. Weighing just 25 kilograms with 26 joints, the R1 is Unitree's lightest and cheapest humanoid yet, beating rivals by a mile in price. It comes just days after Unitree announced its IPO plans, positioning itself to become China's first listed humanoid robotics company. Compared to Tesla's Optimus, which could cost $20,000, or UB Tech's $41,000 model, the R1 is a potential game changer for individual developers. But with competition heating up and open source bots like HopeJR now selling for as low as $3,000, Unitree's timing is critical. This isn't just a launch, it's a statement. Robots are coming home, and they're cheaper than ever. Walker S. Two China's UB Tech Robotics just unveiled the Walker S2 the world's first humanoid that can swap its own battery without stopping work. Designed for 24-7 operation, this dual battery beast detects when it's low on power, walks to a dock, and swaps the battery in just three minutes, all while running on its backup pack. No human help, no shutdown, just pure robotic hustle. In real-world factories for brands like BYD, Neo, and Geely, UB Tech's robots have already boosted efficiency by 120% and cut labor costs by 65%. Now, with autonomous energy management and full factory integration, the Walker S2 is more than a robot. It's a blueprint for the human-robot hybrid workforce of the future. And with over 500 units ordered, the future's arriving fast. Aeon Zurich-based Hexagon just unveiled Aeon a humanoid robot designed not for hype, but for hard work. Launched at its Hexagon Live global event, Aeon was built to tackle one of industry's biggest challenges, labor shortages. With AI mission control, advanced sensor systems, and spatial intelligence, Aeon can handle asset inspections, reality capture, and factory tasks, all while navigating complex environments like a pro. Hexagon says this isn't another prototype. Aeon is an industrial-grade humanoid built with precision, agility, and real-world application in mind across automotive, aerospace, logistics, and more. With humanoid robots like Figure 02, Digit, and now AEON entering real deployments, we're watching the rise of a workforce that doesn't sleep, doesn't call in sick, and never needs training twice. Tesla promised 5,000 humanoid robots by 2025, but so far, only a few hundred have been built, and just 50 are actually working. 
Inside Tesla's Palo Alto lab, Optimus bots are doing basic tasks, walking, lifting, carrying, while engineers scramble to fix hardware bugs and hand dexterity issues. Elon Musk's robot revolution? It's stalled at the starting line. And yet, Tesla stock still rose 2.39%, showing investors believe in the long game, even if the robots are moving slow. But time is ticking. As delays stack up, rivals like Figure AI, UB Tech, and Unitry are closing in. Fast. This isn't just about tech, it's about who gets there first and defines the future of labor. Science fiction is still on hold, and the race is wide open. K2 Bumblebee Meet the K2 Bumblebee, a next gen humanoid robot built for real industrial work. Developed by Kepler Humanoid Robot, this blue-collar bot stands 175 centimeters tall, weighs 75 kilograms, and delivers eight hours of runtime on just a one-hour charge. With 52 degrees of freedom, millimeter-level precision, and dexterous hands featuring 25 force sensors per finger, it's engineered for jobs that demand finesse and strength. Thanks to Kepler's custom actuators, the Bumblebee lifts up to 30 kilograms, consumes near zero idle power, and runs on 100 tops of onboard compute, enough for fully autonomous task execution. All that power? Just $30,000, with output equal to 1.5 full-time workers. This isn't a lab demo. K2 units are already in field trials, as Kepler pushes toward real-world deployments in manufacturing, logistics, and education. The humanoid workforce is coming, and Bumblebee is clocking in. No humans, no remote controls, just full-sized humanoid robots playing real football, completely autonomous. For the first time ever, China hosted the Robo League, where AI-powered androids dribbled, passed, and sprinted across the field, all on their own. Equipped with ball-tracking vision systems and custom algorithms, these bots could spot the ball from 20 meters with over 90% accuracy. The matches? Two 10-minute halves, three versus three. And yes, some robots needed stretchers. The winning squad? Students from Tsinghua University, proving just how far robot sports have come in just a year. And this is just the beginning. Boxing tournaments, half marathons, and the upcoming World Humanoid Robot Games are already on the calendar. When robots play football and fans cheer from the stands, you know the future is kicked off. Standard Bots Standard Bots is going big, literally. The American robotics company just doubled its Long Island footprint with a brand new 16,000 square foot factory in Glen Cove, New York. And it's not just space. They're launching a powerful new robot next week at Automate Detroit with a 2-meter reach, a 30-kilogram payload, and features built for aerospace, logistics, and heavy industry. But the real game-changer? No coding needed. The bot learns through physical AI, powered by NVIDIA Isaac, letting users teach it complex tasks by simply demonstrating them. With an end-to-end -end platform rolling out in 2025, Standard Bots aims to automate workflows that traditional robots just couldn't touch. From smart factories to real-world AI, this is next-gen robotics, made in the USA. 14.4 kilometers per hour. That's how fast Roboterra's new L7 humanoid robot can run, making it the fastest bipedal humanoid in its class. Backed by Tsinghua University, this 171-centimeter-tall machine doesn't just sprint. It breakdances, sorts objects, uses torque tools, and even handles delicate materials like paper. The secret? A fusion of hardware and software Roboterra calls body and brain, giving L7 360-degree awareness, real-time reaction, and dead-on balance control. With 55 degrees of freedom, up to 400 newton-meters of torque, and a 20-kilogram payload, L7 is more than just agile. It's strong, smart, and shockingly human-like. Built on the legacy of the Star One, the L7 raises the bar in speed, dexterity, and industrial-grade performance. Running, dancing, working. L7 is here, and the humanoid race just got a whole lot faster. Lenovo Daystar. 
Lenovo, known for laptops, not robot dogs. But their Shanghai lab just unveiled something wild, a six-legged robo-dog called the Bot GS. Designed for extreme terrain and industrial patrols, it just snagged an IF Design Award. And it's not even officially launched yet. Unlike Boston Dynamics Spot, this six-legged beast promises next-level stability, IP66 waterproofing, and LiDAR plus radar vision for full situational awareness. It's part of Lenovo's Daystar Robotics Division, which already fields bots for facility inspections and AR-driven delivery. The Bot GS can be upgraded with cameras, sensors, even a robotic arm. And it's built for factories, government, and defense. Only catch? It's launching exclusively in Asia. For now. Dobot. What if your next kitchen assistant was a robot? Dobot's Adam Humanoid just dropped in demo videos, calmly working in kitchens, folding towels, and handling objects like a pro. While Dobot hasn't confirmed its target market, the message is clear. Home-ready robots are closer than ever. They're not alone. One X Technologies just revealed Neo Gamma, a humanoid designed specifically for homes, with more natural movement and communication. Meanwhile, players like Agility Robotics, Aptronic, and Figure AI are still focused on factories and warehouses. But partnerships with OpenAI and real-world deployments are blurring the lines. And at the Robotics Summit in Boston, every major name, from Boston Dynamics to Schaeffler, is gathering to define the future of humanoids. The home, the factory, the street. Robots are learning fast, 